everyone. I hope you're having a great summit so far. My name is Karen Tsai, and I'm a senior software engineer at Duolingo. We're a language learning startup located nearby in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Duolingo started as a project out of Carnegie Mellon University in 2012. Duolingo started as a language learning startup that wanted to enable people around the world to learn a language for free. We want to provide a quality language education for free forever to anyone who wants to learn a language. This mission is especially important to us because we believe that language education is especially important in countries where learning English may be a stepping stone to better job and educational opportunities. So far, we've been incredibly fortunate as a startup. We've been named Apple's iPhone App of the Year, Google's Best of the Best for two years, and TechCrunch's Best Educational Startup in 2014. The journey has been incredible, and today I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about how AWS has helped us get to where we are today. Back when I joined Duolingo about three and a half years ago, there were about 15 people two dogs, and not a lot of experience scaling a product from scratch. We were a team that was passionate about making an impact and about coding, but had very little knowledge about DevOps or what a production-level infrastructure really looked like. What we did know is that we would need to store and retrieve a lot of data. This is because at Duolingo, we believe in a scientific, data-driven approach to education. It's not enough for our app to be free. It also needs to be effective. We want to personalize education, gearing our teaching method to each individual user of our application. Let me explain a little bit how we want to do this. On Duolingo, we teach you a language by giving you language exercises to complete. This could be translating a sentence into a language you're learning or being asked to recall vocabulary. Every time a user interacts with our application, we store information about that user and how they answered that question so that we can detect when a user may be struggling with remembering a radical concept or recalling vocabulary. We then use this in order to provide a personalized experience for the user. How much data is this? Well, we need to store this information for every single exercise done on this application. And to get an idea of the scale of this data, here's a fun fact. More people are learning a language on Duolingo than the entire US school system. To get an idea of just how these numbers are broken down, we have about 80 different language courses across an international audience. There are 18 million monthly active users doing 6 billion exercises per month. And perhaps most remarkably, with a team of less than 70 people reaching over 120 million users, Duolingo only needs to dedicate two of its staff to DevOps, thanks to AWS. So here is how AWS has helped us scale. We use a lot of AWS web services. We use CloudWatch for monitoring and alarms to make sure that our app is always up and running and that we can address problems quickly. We use ElastiCache to reduce latency, and we use it as a cache layer on top of our more permanent data stores. We use EC2 to host all of our web servers, S3 for hosting larger pieces of information, such as images, and we use CloudFront as a CDN on top of that. We use RDS with MySQL, and SQS as communication between microservices. And finally, our superstar service has been DynamoDB. Matt mentioned that Dynamo is a wonder of the world, and we agree. DynamoDB is the only service that has kept up with our demands. As I mentioned earlier, we want to personalize language education, and that means storing a lot of data about each of our users. DynamoDB is the service we use to store information about a user's vocabulary knowledge. We have over 31 billion items in our largest DynamoDB table, and that table executes over 24,000 read units per second and over 3,000 write units per second without breaking a sweat. As a bonus, 
DynamoDB also scales up when we have traffic peaks and also scales down off-peak to save us a bit of money. We're incredibly happy with, so far, with how AWS has saved us so much time in all of our needs. We look forward to continuing using future AWS services. We want to move more data to DynamoDB to reduce latency. We also want to leverage Elastic Beanstalk for deploying microservices and move over to Redshift for data analytics. And finally, we're looking into using Lambda for some of our computing needs. As a small company with big goals, we're incredibly grateful for all of the work that AWS has saved us. AWS has enabled us to focus on our mission, which is free language education for the world. Thank you.